What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the YouTube algorithm. Now I'm not going to go too much in depth on this because this has already been done by somebody else and they actually got direct sources from YouTube that talk about this and can explain this in a ton of detail. But just in case you don't happen to follow Alpha Gaming's YouTube channel, then you should go check it out because of what we're about to talk about today. Harris Heller from over there actually got to talk to some people that work at YouTube and they kind of debunk the common myths that we perceive about the YouTube algorithm and that is amazing. One other thing that is amazing before we go on is the fact that we got a new camera and it can actually do autofocus now. I know this, the weirdest thing was me to pick up a Roku TV remote, but we've got autofocus now, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and run that intro and then we'll talk a little bit about what the algorithm really is like. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we are talking about the YouTube algorithm. And this is a very, very interesting topic to discuss for quite a few reasons. Starting out with first, what has people always kind of thought the YouTube algorithm was and how it worked? Well, typically people thought you had to upload so many videos a week or a month. The videos had to be a certain length in time and runtime, whether that's like at one point in time, I think people were like, it's gotta be 12 to 15 minutes at least. If not, then your video's not gonna perform well. Well, that's not actually true. Um, and we actually have some more insight on that. It's not specifically channel-based or necessarily video-based, it's more user-based. So essentially, whenever you're watching YouTube, YouTube creates a user profile on you and they pay attention to the content you watch, certain videos, certain creators, but mainly the videos you watch and how long you watch them and their relevance in like category. But they create profiles and they also have like profiles. So for example, if I watch a lot of videos on streaming, there's quite a few creators out there that make videos on streaming and YouTube tips and stuff like that. But if I'm watching something on streaming and they're like, oh wow, you really like this channel. It's just like, well, here's three other channels that are very similar where people have watched these other three videos. So let's recommend a video from this channel that performs well for other people that previously watched that video. So it's kind of interesting in the way that works because it's a lot different than what people have always really thought it was. Now, there are factors that are still determined on videos being uh, watched based on tags and recommendations and stuff like that because there's there's multiple ways to end up at a video whether that is typing in the search box how to use obs while yes that's going to give you a little bit of different search results or a different outcome than just a recommended video after you watch something essentially the way that the platform works is it kind of creates a viewer profile for the viewer that is watching youtube and it tries to base that similarly to other viewers out there, the content they like and the content they watch. This is a short video. Um, that's about it. I thought it was very interesting. I didn't want to dive too much in depth with it and talk about it too much, but I did want to give you a little bit of clarity on that. Things like live streaming, YouTube shorts, how many times you upload, while they will affect your growth based off of what your audience thinks and what your audience is looking for, that's not necessarily what YouTube does on the algorithmic side side of it. It's not really how that works. It's really based on your viewers and what they like to watch in similar content. So like I said, this has been a short video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, get subscribed, turn on notifications, and check out one of these videos on screen right now. Peace.